will go to hell according to the Bible? As believers, we have been taught that hell is very real, but it is still hard to fully comprehend. In fact, you may be surprised how many believers don't believe or accept that hell exists at all. But for those who doubt it, God has given us substantial evidence that hell does exist in his infallible message to us. If you don't believe hell exists, consider these words from Jesus. Luke 12, verses 4 and 5. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after your body has been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Hell is mentioned in the Bible numerous times, including in Revelation 14.11, which says the smoke of the fire that torments them will rise forever and ever, and there will be no relief day or night for those who worship the beast or its image or accept the mark of its name. From these descriptions of hell in the Bible, we know that it is a place of final judgment and a place of anguish. John 3.18 explains in simple terms who will go to heaven and who will go to hell. The passage says, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Ultimately, those who do not believe in Jesus' name will go to hell. To truly believe in Jesus Christ is more than a notion. When we truly believe, we no longer worship ourselves and the world. We worship God with our whole being and believe Jesus is the path to our salvation. Hell seems like a scary place, and truly it is. Suffering in hell is filled with great anguish, and it is not a place we want to spend the rest of eternity. However, for those who think that people are destined to go to hell with no hope are missing a really important component to our relationship with God, His grace. God gives us what we don't deserve. God's will is that we are saved, that we return to Jesus and receive forgiveness for our sins. Those who go to hell are isolated from everything else, permanently cut off from God and everything that is good. So what's the good news? There is hope with God, and the great thing about God's love is that we can all be saved. Our God is a God of love. When we are born again through the waters of baptism and make Christ the center of our lives, we have no place in hell.